what is going on guys this is the game machine and today i'm going to be showing you the best pc gaming software uh this is for amd users and nvidia users so let's get started all right so the program i'm going to use is geforce experience that's for nvidia users uh, i will show you how to get the amd um gaming uh recording software as well so um first to get to to get the nvidia uh one you have to have a nvidia gpu and uh you just go to this website i will have the link in the description um you just download it from here it's legit everything like that no virus nothing it's an easy installation and um yeah you just going up from there and you will get the program and for amd users i will have the link in the description as well this is how the website look you just press download now and then it's an easy installation as well so um Let's get right into the program and show you the specs. All right, guys. So um, when you first open up the NVIDIA GeForce Experience or even the AMD, it should have games, drivers, my rig, and stuff like that. I don't know if it will have this shield because I don't think they made a shield um, little gaming handset um, for AMD, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, you can optimize your game so it can have the best settings so where you don't lag. Um, and then when you go to the drivers, um, it will update you on the latest drivers for uh, NVIDIA. So the newest one is uh, GeForce Game Ready Driver for Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, and then you just download it from there. So that's pretty cool. And then you can see my specs of my rig. Um, I have the G4 GTA 750. I'm not going to go through all of these. You can just pause it yourself and see it from there. Uh, but yeah, this is very cool. And uh, this is the handheld uh, gaming uh, thing I was talking about. And then you go to um, pre preferences or whatever. Um, sorry about that. <coughs> I can't pronounce it. Um, so you will see... Um, It'll, you can check for updates about the whole program itself, but uh, we're not going to get about to that We're just going to get into shadow play. That's what it's called shadow play So you can record your gameplay without any lag. So just click this shadow play right here and then um, a window will appear Okay, this is it right here. It will be turned off. You just turn it on and your screen might go black for like a few seconds But that's normal. That's normal. Don't panic or anything like that um, so you have mode, manual, or shadow, or shadow and manual. You can read and see what it does. Or you can have it twitch and you just uh, sign in or, or whatever. So I just keep mine at manual because I don't know how long I'm going to record. If you keep it on shadow and manual, you can, um, like, it give you a time. The highest you can do is 20 minutes. So I just keep it on manual because I don't know if I'm recording over that, over 20 minutes or not. So, and then um, quality, I just keep mine on custom, but it's high, low, medium. Um, that's just for the quality of the video. I keep it at 720p because it's much faster because the file It's not going to be big as fraps files, but it's going to be pretty big just to let you guys know uh, The frame rate I just keep it at 60 some people keep it at 30 because YouTube is going to keep it at 30 anyway But I feel 60 smoother um, I'm not sure I, I just keep it at 60 myself. You can keep it at 30 if you want. It's mostly the same thing um, but this was set default, so that's why I kept it there. Um, the bit rate, I just kept mine at 50 because um, it gives it a uh, smooth feeling while you're playing the game. I don't want it to, um, uh, you know, the lag to keep on spiking so you can keep seeing in the video. I'm telling you guys, it's no lag. I will have a gameplay as well added on to this where I show you me, like, playing the game uh, with Shadow Play recording. So uh, then you go to settings when you go to settings. This is the overlay So as you can see you can have your uh, face uh, Cam on you can have it to the left right uh, Other side and you know bottom whatever you can have it anywhere you want to you can have it small medium large uh, I don't have a face cam right now. That's why I don't really record videos with face cams like that uh, then you have the status indicator. This tells you if you're recording now, it will light up green if you're recording. Uh, so yeah, you can have that in the position you want it. It's just like fraps how you know you can have it in each corner. Whatever. I just keep mine at the bottom. FPS counter. This is like fraps as well. You could put it anywhere. So you guys get the process. Uh, so yeah. Now uh, you can also have it allow desktop capture. Um, 
I'm not really sure what that do, but it was the fault. So if yours not, then just check it because uh, just in case I don't know. Uh, okay, microphone. I just put mine always on. I don't like to push the talk because uh, if I'm playing the game, I don't have time to push the button to talk. So uh, keyboard shortcuts. I just left it the same. But yeah, it tells you. Um, with the press to record on and off and then it saves it automatically or anything like that and recordings this is your save location i keep mine in my video you can do it on your desktop or anything you want okay so uh got that out the way um so now we're gonna do some gameplay so all you do is uh once you set up everything you like um oh for audio you have in game in game and microphone or just off i just keep mine in game because i record my audio actually in audacity so i can edit my voice because sometimes the game be over your voice so just to uh, make sure but if you're doing twitch or something just make sure you have that on so yeah now we're going to get to the gameplay so i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and um this is better than an action action is a very like competition i this is the on um, like this is not the full version this is the free trial um i do i do not want to buy this because of shadow play um uh, i just use this to record my desktop i was using uh camtasia but it was acting like ass when i uh opened up this and it kept lagging like to go to different uh sections so um yeah guys now we're gonna do the gameplay i'm gonna show you how to do that all right peace Alright guys, now what you want to do once we got the gameplay done uh, that we recorded off of Shadow Play, uh, you can see you can uh, edit it or anything. As you can see, no lag. I did a 360 for you guys. Um, this is some uh, pretty good gameplay actually. I was playing on Warface, that's what this game is called. Uh, it is a pretty good game. It's a fast-paced game. That's why I wanted to play it, so it wouldn't take me so long to ooh, <laughs> so it wouldn't take me so long to uh, find someone to kill him. But yeah, uh, once you get done, um, you can upload to YouTube right away, or uh, you can edit. I'm going to edit my videos in uh, Sony Vegas Pro right here, uh, 13. Uh, it's a pretty good editing software as well. Um, I could teach you how to get it for free, but it's some ways to get it on uh, YouTube. You can search it up yourself. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, can you please give it a like? And also, if you're new to my channel, can you please subscribe? I do gameplays and things like that. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'll see you later. Have a blessed day. And like always, 